Hens and Mets play two today because of rain clouds Tuesday. Only cloud in sight now is liquid nitrogen. School education day, kids getting schooled in science and how to swing the bats. Bases loaded in the first for Ryan Kreidler. Off the wall and left, could have used Carl the scientist to help blow that out and over. Parker Meadows and Zach Short score. Justin Henry Malloy tossed out at third, but that's all right. Next batter is Andre Lipsius. Chopped down the left field line. They'll score just one, and they didn't need more than that. Each pitcher was locked in. Reese Olsen got his gold glove before the game. Gets Jonathan Araruz down swinging. Four innings, two Ks, two hits, one unearned run. Miguel Del Pozo closes it down. He fanned two of the four batters he faced to end it. Hens win 4-1. Olsen, Kervin Castro, Matt Whistler, and Del Pozo combined to give up just three hits over seven innings of work. The only thing better than one Hens win would be two. Muddy is working double duty, but runs come at a premium here. one nothing. Down to their final strike, wild pitch to Brendan Davis. Jonathan Davis is heading home. Tie game, 1-1, free baseball, and you're about to see more Jonathan Davis than something I'd be willing to bet you have never seen before. It's a doubleheader, so the eighth is an extra inning. Syracuse starts with a runner on second. Danny Mendick, first pitch swinging against Inuris Zabala. Davis leaps and makes the catch at the wall. The runner advances to third. One pitch, one out. Next batter is Ronnie Mauricio. He swings on the first pitch too, pops out to left center. Davis is underneath it. Don't you even think about running. A 7-2 double play ends the inning. What you just saw is a two pitch inning. What have you ever seen a two pitch inning? The first time that ever happened in baseball was with the Brave single-A affiliate in 2018. It is incredibly rare. I could not find another time it happened. Syracuse would go on to win the game 2-1 with an Araruz RBI single in the ninth inning. I liked the eighth inning better. You might remember that if you were there. You would remember the eighth far longer. Matt Melzack and Jim Weber called all 16 frames today. All right, thanks. Back here at Fifth Third Field, it, as happens a lot in these doubleheaders, Jim, it's so hard to sweep them for some reason. Well, it really is, and that's why it was a great accomplishment to do it in Columbus last week, uh, winning both games there. This one, of course, would wind up a split, as most doubleheaders seem to do, but the Mud Hens tied it in the last inning on a wild pitch. I thought maybe that was the magic touch we needed, but it wasn't to be as uh, Syracuse wound up scoring in the ninth inning, which is an extra inning game uh, in a doubleheader game and beat the Mud Hens 2-1. to one. Yeah, I thought so, especially when you tie the game on a wild pitch. Then you go into the eighth inning, you get two pitches out of your pitcher, and you get three outs. Yeah. And you go <laughs> on to the bottom half of the eighth inning, all you need is one run. You got a runner at second, but the Mud Hens couldn't get it done. And that was really when it, the game changed. Yeah, that's when it changed. And I think the Syracuse team is a decent team. I know they lost some guys, as we all do. But uh, you give them credit. They held on, especially after they gave up the tying run on that wild pitch. Yeah, so the Mud Hens uh, open their home stand going one and one with the doubleheader today. They've got Syracuse again all the way through Sunday, and they'll get right back at the Syracuse Mets coming up tomorrow night. That's a story from out here at Fifth Third Field. Let's send it back to you now in the studio.